Today I'll be reviewing Walmart exclusive G1 Hot Rod. I'm really excited right now. And I, I've already taken this guy out, as you can see. Hot Rod in there is a little shaky. But anyway, there's a little nice image of Hot Rod holding one of his guns. It says Transformers up. It says the Transformers Hot Rod or something. Autobot more than meets the eye. Shows a little bit of how to transform him. It has the old Hasbro logo. Eight. Rated eight and up. And it has another. It says Transformers right there. It has a picture of Hot Rod. On the box. Same thing. This other side. I mean, not box. I mean bottom and okay now the back it shows a nice image of the of there's Trypticon up there Metroplex you can see Hot Rod Hot Rod in robot mode there's Silver Bolt Ultra Magnus Blur See blip no not blip swing that's blip swing swindle drag strip a predicon blades a narrow little bot up there okay and then you can read that it's in two different languages right there. Okay, and then his tech specs, you can read those again if you like. Okay, that Autobot symbol and Transformers replaces the robot points. Another whole old Hasbro symbol. Now you can tell if you don't get, like, if you see this, like, on eBay. Like, and if it shows the back, you can tell. That, or if that's cut out, you can look right here. And it says, made in 2017. I mean, 2000s. Yeah, 17. Instead of like 1980. Let's get this open. Let's pull him out. His little directions. Now I already have this, all the stickers applied to him. So the sticker sheet isn't in the box. Let's get his guns out. this. Now let's get Hot Rod out. Now I'm just going to set this stuff down here. Here's a look at his directions. Done. You can place a gun in. Step one. Like that. Well, we're, we're, we don't really need these. Oh, and then well, the thing you do need if you get this, oh, it shows where to apply the stickers on this side. It shows where to apply the stickers right here. Just like that. And it has so the newer Hasbro symbol. I mean, logo. 
That's about it with directions. There's two guns. I believe they're the same guns that he had with his original toy, but they are different guns. They aren't the same exact guns. They look different. As you can tell. Obviously. This one's a little more longer. You can see. You can okay. <coughs> now let's take a look at Hot Rod himself. He has some nice chrome. He has a chrome engine. You can place one of the guns in the hole on the engine. Just like this. Like that. And the web symbol. It does work. But it doesn't change colors like the original rub symbol did. If I can get that to work, and it will show up on your camera. See, it's just plain old red. It has nice rubber tires. Now these two stickers, you, now these stickers up here, you, you don't have to attach or put on. The stickers you have to put on are this sticker, these two stickers. Well, I'll show you in a little mode because it kind of covers up when he's in vehicle look mode. And to get into the transformation, first we're going to extend the legs and make sure, like so, some people do it out that way and they don't understand. These, well they don't know. These can go out another click like that and then they lock in place. Then fold out the feet. The feet are made of metal. Then fold the arms out. And there's two stickers that you have to pull life. Then turn the forearms like this. Turn the crotch plate around. Um, then take this part, extend it, push it all the way up, swing the head around, and Peg the head into place like that. Then lower it down, line it up, and peg it into place. Then spin this part around, and now Hot Rod is in robot mode. So the stickers you have to apply are these two stickers, these two stickers, this sticker, and these two stickers. That's only seven stickers, though. Hot Rod looks really nice and cool. I'll put both of his guns in his hand. This. Just like that. <coughs> For articulation, he can move his hand a little bit, bend at the elbow, and for transformation purposes, it can go out. And again, transformation purposes, now can go like that. I think this hot rod is a really, really cool hot rod. I like him a lot. And as you can see, I just popped his arm off. It can clip back on, just like that. Well, not clip. It's that little thing right there that clips or pegs in the orange part. This was, this is pretty expensive. It was $30. I think it's worth it. <laughs> I think he's really cool. Just push the legs up. And he 
can roll really smoothly on hard surfaces. Just like that. I think this hot rod's really cool. This has been my video review on Walmart exclusive G1 Hot Rod reissue.